All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is you're watching this. Welcome, my name is Philip Homiser, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit this uh, portrait of this little girl. And this is my before, and this is my after. And there's you know a few things I've done to this. There's some spots on her face and her arms, a vein here, a lot of hair. I want to clean up, clip, you know, clean up her eyes. Her eyes need a lot of work because it was actually really dark in this room. You can tell her eyes are dilated and very dark, and also a little bit out of focus. Her whole face is out of focus because I'm using a manual focus lens, and just didn't quite get it just right. And also, I got to fill in these spots up here. <laughs> this was actually supposed to be an infant session, and the infant was screaming her head off at this particular time. And so I was just trying to kill time, and so her big sister decided to pose for me. And I just used, I think this is a bath towel back here um, on top of the couch. That's my backdrop. And a little, little baby blanket down here, which just wasn't quite big enough. And uh, I was actually not prepared for this session one bit. This was my first infant session, and it actually went really well. It didn't feel like it went well because the session lasted about three hours long, and I only got like maybe... 10 decent pictures out of it, but they turned out really good. So the client was happy with them, and if the client's happy, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I use mostly, uh, I use hotkeys a lot, and uh, I'll try to remember to tell you what I'm pushing as I go, but if I forget, it'll show, it'll pop up on the bottom of the screen and show you what I'm pushing. It just makes this, the uh, workflow go so much faster for me. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a copy of the background layer. I always make a copy. That way I can always revert back to the original if I have to. So I'm going to do that by pressing Option J if you're on a Mac. Uh, I don't know what it is on a PC, so I'm not going to go there. You can figure it out. It's pretty, pretty easy. The only difference is going to be Option and whatever it is on a PC, which I, I don't know what it is. So anyway, first thing I'm going to do is select the... Uh, sharpening tool and I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen her eyes just very gently go across you can see you already get some noise in her eye when you do that but it sharpens it a little bit from a distance I kind of hate doing that but it's one way to get the eyes a little bit sharper and next thing I'm gonna do is grab a curves layer and I'm just gonna brighten the overall scene this is gonna brighten her eyes this is particularly for her eyes I'm going to close that and press Option I to invert. And then I'm going to grab my brush tool by pressing B. And make sure it's set to white. So I'm going to paint the mask. I'm going to paint that back into her, her eye, eyes just to brighten it up. And look how dilated her eyes are. They're so, it was so dark in this room. I shot this in RAW. I shoot everything in RAW, thankfully, so I have a lot more control over the dynamic dynamic range and the, not maybe it'll bring the uh, lighting way back up without losing a horrible amount of uh, detail but I had no lights so I wasn't, like I said it's not set up for this session one bit uh, so I was just using the room light really and I'm actually really amazed at how well it turned out <laughs> um, if this is too bright if her eyes are too bright I'm pretty happy with where they're at you can always either go in here and adjust this back up or down or you can adjust the opacity so okay pretty happy with that now uh, I'm gonna do some dodging and burning with her eyes this is a little trick I learned uh, if you just open up a new and empty layer and then press shift F5 and fill it in with 50% gray and then set the blending mode to overlay now, that, that may have looked complicated, but really isn't. Just an empty layer with a, with a gray overlay. Set the, uh, grab, grab your brush tool. Set the opacity to about 10%. And now, basically all it's doing is it's giving me the control to, pop, to dodge and burn. And so, uh, you just do that either, either using white or black. So, I'm going to switch over to black by pressing X. And I'm going I'm to darken the center of her eye just a little bit. And then... Also, corner, just kind of bringing out the darks and the whites, but basically cleaning her eye up, eyes up a little bit. Okay, switch over to white, and then brighten the bright spots here, the <laughs> white parts of her eye. 
And again, if you go if you go too far, you can always adjust the opacity. Uh, one other thing I like to do is brighten up the reflections a little bit because that's the reflections is kind of what the, makes the eyes extremely interesting. So we want to bring out those reflections as much as you can. All right, switch black, back over to blacks to the other eye. I'm probably way overdoing it. I'm I'm just kind of quickly. I'm gonna try to keep this video under 10 minutes because the attention span is not very long. It's my attention span, by the way. <laughs> and probably the viewers, too, if I start talking and rattling on. All right. Now, I know it doesn't look probably like I did very much right away, but I actually did quite a bit. If you turn it on and off, you can see. I just brought, brought the uh, uh, detail in the eyes out. And I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I'm gonna make another. I'm gonna make a, uh, put that in a folder. Anything I did to, with the eyes, I'm gonna put that in a folder and call it eyes. And that'll just clean things up and help you to remember what you were doing there and whatnot. <laughs> so, next thing I want to do is clean up all these spots. So go over to the healing brush tool or spot healing brush tool, one of the ones I like to use. And that way you can just go ahead and grab these little spots here that are just kind of distracting this big old vein right here clean that up there's something sticking up there get that out of there I'm not going to focus too much down here because that's not really the focus point one thing I was concerned about here is all these hairs this hairs hairs everywhere <laughs> so I'm going to switch over to the healing brush tool because if you try to using the spot brush tool you'll start getting some weird things going on yeah but uh, these hairs are just horrible you know what yeah Okay, so the way you use the uh, healing brush tool, press and hold Alt, and then use that. That you're going to be sampling from those pixels from right there where I just clicked. And now you can you see where that little X is? It's just copying basically what's over there and then healing around it. So now I can go in here and just get rid of all these hairs. Gotta love technology. Just love it. It's one that really, really concerns me. It's the one by the eye. Let's see how close we can get. Uh, by the way, when I'm adjusting this brush tool, I'm just pressing, I don't even know what these keys are called. We'll be showing it down there. You can see it going up and down probably. <laughs> Actually cleaned up way better than I expected it to. Uh, <laughs> let's get rid of this big old hair here. That one probably could have stayed, but I'm gonna get rid of it. And then these ones right here are really distracting. They're not very, no, not very big. They're just hairs, but it's amazing how distracting they are. Or maybe it's just me. I'm just obsessive compulsive, so <sighs> gotta get rid of them. Gotta get rid of the hairs. Actually, I know I'm obsessive compulsive. It's a known fact for me. <laughs> so I might be in the wrong line of business here, or not. Oh, my Facebook's going crazy. All right, I think I'm happy with that. One other thing I want to do. Her skin is a little, I don't know, pinkish or something. Get out of here. So I'm going to put a selective color layer in here and make sure you have set the colors to red. I'm gonna bring the yellows up just a little bit. I'm gonna gent it down just a hair. Okay, I like that a lot better. Now, it's probably only affecting her skin because that was the only red thing in the scene, but I'm gonna do the, what I normally do, again, because I'm obsessive compulsive. I'm gonna paint it on her skin, so press Option I to invert the mask to take it away, and I'm just going to paint it back onto her skin using the brush tool. By the way, set the opacity back to 100%. You got to watch out for that. Set it and forget to change it. Oh boy, my alarm's going off. It's time to go to work. <laughs> Better make this quick. <laughs> just, just paint it on. Is that all right? I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, 
And the last thing I want to do is get rid of these <laughs> sections up here. Uh, this is this is pretty cool. Let's take the uh, just select this area up here and press Shift F5 and use Content Aware, and it's amazing that thing just fills it in. <laughs> just gets rid of it. I left some nasty marks here, but we're gonna fix that here in a little bit. Do the same thing down here. Content Aware. All right, and you can see it even just line things up pretty good right there. <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Mm, one thing I'm gonna do. Uh, just clean this little spot here. All right, one thing that bothers me up here, well, there's this line here, but these wrinkles over here really bother me too. So I'm just gonna clean up some of this. I'm gonna select over here it's mostly white through there without the wrinkles so I'm gonna come through and just try to get rid of these wrinkles whoops be careful uh, next to her head <laughs> all right now I'm gonna sample from over here just get rid of a few things over here and I believe that is it that's pretty much it I would probably try to get rid of this, whatever this is. If it's a hair, what is that? Let me just go ahead and see what I can do here. I'd spend more time with this, but I really don't have time. I gotta go to work. <laughs> anyway, there we go. You can kind of see. Anyway, that is the overall image. Uh, so here's the before, here's the after. So anyway, I hope you guys learned a lot from this. Hope this is very helpful. Um, one other thing, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get some more of these tutorials, be notified as soon as they come out. And also, I have just created a manual mode cheat sheet, uh, which helps you, it, it, there's some of these out there that I've seen, but this is kind of my own little version of it. And I'll go ahead and pull up on the screen to show you. Um, but anyway, I'm giving this away uh, when you subscribe to my mailing list, and I'll put the link in the description below. So if you want to download this, you can go down there and click on that. That would be awesome. And I hope that helps you guys out. I know shooting in manual is just, it's kind of the, the thing. You know, if you're shooting in auto, you you are missing out. Uh, I mean, you can still take some good pictures, but... It just It's really good to know your camera, to know what the settings do, and this cheat sheet, I think, will just visually help you. If you're a visual learner, you see this sheet, it just makes sense to you. <laughs> so it helped me, and it really uh, changed my work, so grab that. Go ahead and grab that, and that would be, that'll have really help you out, hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here and go to work. I uh, hope this was useful for you. Uh, so just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a good day, good night whatever, <laughs> and I will get you next time.